Genesis there is a Eden garden which is called the garden of the east garden in the east garden of the east this is called the east area within head and spine and in the Eden garden there is a nice plants plants which gives fragrance smell plants which gives the tasty food plants which gives pictorial visual view plant which gives touch perception of various kinds plants which gives various vibratory sound which you can listen this is the one plant in which you will find all five the sound perception touch visual taste and smell all and this is the one plant in which you will find that perception of one knowledge how visible appears as invisible and invisible appears in the visible form therefore in this what is the center of the garden this is the center of the garden 1 2 3 up 1 2 3 down the smell taste vision all the plants associated with these three smell taste and vision then plant associated with the sound and all five sound touch vision taste and smell and the one which gives the knowledge how to realize experience the how invisible becomes visible and visible becomes invisible now this is called the center and the center is associated with the touch touch perception and do not eat the fruit of a tree present in the mid of garden this is the Eden garden and mid is this the center where we are having a tree which brings realization of touch and touch we experience in the form of various changes in our body heaviness lightness pain and pleasure comfort and discomfort everything this is the various changes we realize in all over and touch is also associated with the vision when the sunlight is touching the retina then we are able to see everything when the sound wave is touching the eardrum then we are able to listen it when the food is touching the tongue then we are able to taste when the fragrance touching inside the nose olfactory valve nerves then we are having the smell therefore touch is present in the mid of all activities therefore this is called the tree present in the mid of garden now it means do not eat the fruit of tree present in the mid of garden it means the mid of garden means the effect of touch perception when the rays are coming touching the retina what is the effect of visuality then do not eat the fruit what is the fruit good or bad vision good looking bad looking don't say it just try to practice only visual perception never say good or bad appreciate all equally in the same way the touch perception present in the ear because the sound waves when going inside and touching the eardrum then we are hearing the never eat fruit of the touch perception means what you listen never say good or bad sound just observe sound perception in the same way what you touch it with the tongue food never say good or bad taste just observe taste what you smell through the nose never say good or bad smell just observe the smell in the same in our body what you say pain and pleasure don't say it this is called the fruit you are coming to the end result now whatever you just feel in head to toes try to feel it more and more do not eat the fruit of tree present in the mid of garden this is what means never practice duality the end result of the dual perceptions the what you feel in our body pain and pleasure this is called the end result of the bodily perception which is associated with the touch in the same way the visual and audio and the smell and the taste all all the five senses whatever they feel never try to say good or bad just try to observe and go deep and deep into observation this is called the practicing biblical principle 
and this is what we did. But in this you must remember the eternal principle of Bible that I and God are one. The distance between I and God is zero. It means God has become me. It means whatever you see, these visual radiations, audio frequencies, smell perception, taste and bodily perception, all are presence of God. Just practice this principle. You will find each and every moment your power of body, power of senses, power of mind is keep on increasing your patience and tolerance and courage, keep on increasing more and more. That's what we need to live on this earth. This is called the practicing Bible correctly and in this practice you will find the exact result. When you keep on practicing, when practice reaches to its threshold value, then you will find you have become Jesus Christ. And this is not any miracle, this is spiritual science, practice and see. This is what Kriya Yoga practice it and it solves all problems. What I explained today, biblical truth, one passage, at the same time I explained parallel the principle of the Mahabharat Gita. That what you concentrate on different pain and pleasure, try to accept both equally. If there is no pleasure, try to concentrate on visual concentration and audio frequencies. Both represents the element of pleasure because we don't feel any stretching in that. Just practice it. This is simplest of simple practice. You cannot imagine that this simple practice will bring everything what you need.